fascinating fungi facts. Mushrooms double in size every 24 hours. That's actually pretty fascinating. Um, you talk about the compounding effect. Mushrooms do not need sunlight to grow. Mushrooms sprout. Uh, mushroom sprouts we eat are in fact the fruit of the fungus. U.S. mushroom farms contribute to 3.3 billion dollars to the economy. All right, and that was in 2024. So it's a billion dollar industry, the American mushroom harvest industry. Kennett Square, Pennsylvania, has the largest concentration of mushrooms, mushroom farms in the country. Nearly two-thirds of all mushroom production occurs in southeastern Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania mushroom growers have William Swain, Swain to thank for this long tradition of PA mushroom growing. The successful uh, Kennett Square Pennsylvania florist conceived the idea of growing mushrooms beneath his greenhouse benches in the late 1800s. So the mushroom industry is uh, firmly out of uh, Pennsylvania, and that's where I'm from. And maybe that's why I enjoy mushrooms so much, uh, just being that I was on the southeastern end uh, uh, of, of the state. And so we have a photo of Kenneth Square here, mushroom capital of the world. Uh, but we also have some powerful gematria, of course. Uh, mushrooms have superpower. 333, 117 reduction, 288 reverse ordinal, and 117 reverse reduction. So that's a powerful cipher because it connects with mushrooms compound growth, which is 333 English ordinal, 117 English reduction, and 288 reverse ordinal. So you see, look, mushrooms have superpower, mushrooms compound growth. You know, they have the same gematria in three out of four base ciphers. We also have Kennett Square and Nervous System. Kennett Square and Nervous System both equal 53 in reduction and 73 in reverse reduction. And you might be asking yourself, well, what do you mean about Nervous System? We're going to be getting into that in the next slide and what I mean with mushrooms being the nervous system of the forest and of the, uh, the Earth's ecosystem. The Wood Wide Web. All right, keep that in mind, the Wood Wide Web. Fungi have a network of branching filaments called hyphae that can transmit information using electrical impulses, similar to how nerves transmit messages to animals. This network, called mycelium, can be found in the soil, wrapped around or boring into tree roots. The mycelium connects trees together to form a network called mycorrhizal network, which allows trees to share water, nutrients, and other resources. Trees can also use the network to communicate with each other by sending distress signals about things like drought, disease, insect attacks. When other trees receive these messages, they may change their behavior. So they're, they are communicating. They're letting trees know. They're not a tree, but they're helping trees and allowing them to make decisions based off the information they have at hand. All right, this is powerful stuff. You know, everything in this world uh, coexists together and works together in a, in a really symbiotic way. Some say that the mycelium's network-like design and cell density allow it to function like a primitive mind, an organism with a simple form of intelligence. I tend to agree. As above, so below. As within, so without. Think about that, right? You know, we have all these nerves in our body, all right? But think about the earth as a body. What if the fungus are the nerves of the body of Earth, which still communicate to it via the trees and via the different nodes and whatnot?
For example, the mycelium can respond to catastrophes and rele relegate, uh, regulate new substances that it comes in contact with. It can also pre prevent uh, predators from eating it uh, by constantly communicating with its surrounding uh, ecosystem. Mycelium are incredibly tiny threads of greater fungal organisms that wrap around or bore into tree roots. Taken together, mycelium composes of what was called the mycorrhizal network, which connects individuals' plants together to transfer water, nitrogen, carbon, and other minerals. German forester uh, Peter uh, Volben dubbed this network the Wood Wide Web. And is, uh, it is through the mycelium that trees communicate, quote-unquote. One mushroom can uh, grow more mushrooms because the organism that produces the mushroom, called the mycelium, continues to live underground and produce more mushrooms and spores after the mushroom fruit bodies dies and rots. The mycelium bunches up into uh, primordia, which then perform uh, form mushrooms. You can find primordia and mycelia in harvested mushrooms at the stem where it was in contact with soil. And you can use this to clone the mushroom. So now we understand the caps, the mushroom caps, they're the fruit. They're the outcrops of the actual organism that's still below. So just because you harvest a mushroom fruit doesn't mean you're getting rid of the actual network system. So we have some uh, photos here, let you kind of know. Nervous system in the brain, almost the same concept, right? That's why we have Kenneth Square 53 reduction, 73 reverse reduction. Nervous system 53 reduction, 73 reverse reduction. That's why you see that connection now. That mycorrhizal network is created by mushrooms to be nervous system of the forest, 330 English reduction. Then we have the mycorrhizal network created by mushrooms is the nervous system of forest, 924 ordinal, 330 reduction. The mycorrhizal network built by mushrooms act as nature's midstream energy company, which we'll get into the next slide, 924 ordinal, 330 reverse reduction. So again, nervous system, wood wide web, uh, the communication getting communication from one tree to another, one plant to another, disease, anything that's going on, they get that message to the forest. Very important role, but it doesn't come without a price, okay? This is a business just in a more uh, natural uh, environmental way, what we're going to get into.